Okay, all you fogies and dinosaurs, we've shot a bunch of video. We've upgraded our audio, our video, our lighting, and our stability. Now it's time to chop it all up, put it back together again, and make it look pretty. It's time to edit. Let's do it. Okay, so when we're talking about editing, the first thing we have to do is select some editing software. There's a ton of it out there. There are a million different versions of editing software, and there's a ton of good ones. But what we want is something that's not going to cost us anything, number one, and number two, is going to be powerful enough to do some fun editing things, but not so powerful that we're going to have to study it for two years before we can figure out how to use it. It's got to be easy to use for the beginner. So what I've selected for this channel, after trying several, we're going to be using CapCut. CapCut is a free software. There's a paid version that you can upgrade to that's extremely affordable, but completely unnecessary at the beginning. We'll be doing just fine with the free version. So what we're going to do is download CapCut and be using that as our go-to editor to begin our journey in video editing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to CapCut. So I'm going to assume you have enough familiarity with your system, with your computer, that you can download a, a uh, program. So you either want to go to Google and Google CapCut, and you can do it that way, or you can download it as an app from your app store. Either way, once you get CapCut, open it up, and we're going to look at the opening screen. And it looks like this. So what we'll see, all of these down here, all these little thumbnails down here, are projects that I've already started or are completed. So that's, what, that's where your projects will land when you finish them or save them in the uh, process of creating them. Um, we're not going to worry about this section over here right now because that's, that's going to come later and we'll have some fun with that later, but not right now. So these are your existing um, projects, but what we want to do is go up to the top and create a project. And this is the screen that opens up. Now you'll see one, two, three major sections to this main screen. Over here, we're going to have all the raw footage clips that we're going to create our video out of. We're going to be able to play back video in this section right here. And down here, we're going to build our timeline for our video, left to right, in real time, okay? And you'll be able to put layers and layers upon layers. It gets very, a lot of fun, but kind of complicated. But we'll get to all that. First, we're gonna get started. So what we're gonna do first, we gotta have some footage to edit if we're gonna edit. So let's get some footage. So we're gonna hit import there, and it's gonna pull up your uh, uh, finder, your, your list of where you keep all of your stuff. Now I keep mine in documents. So when I hit documents, I have subfolders in here for pictures and text and video files. When I hit video files, I have raw footage. Raw footage is the footage that comes out of the camera or a GoPro or any raw footage that you, that you create with a, with a camera goes under raw footage. And here it is. So we're going to find a couple of clips. And what, what they are isn't going to be that important. We're really just having some fun here and just messing around with this thing. So let's pick this one and say okay. so we're this outside one. At, um, and we're going to import here. those. Hush you, I'm talking. Now we've brought two clips into our editor and now they're ready to, to be used. Now let's say this is our A roll. You remember A roll? We're gonna shut down the volume on the computer so we can so we can talk, you know? But anyway, so I've brought up that video and I can look at it over here and kind of scour it. 
Now, what one thing I'll find out is at the very beginning, uh, let's turn the sound on again. That the camera gives you when you're shooting a video? Everybody is. This is the... As I went along there, I got to a point where it was so bad that I went and started over. That's a good place for us to edit this. Now, we can edit by taking this clip and either pressing it and pulling it down like that, or I can also hit the real the little plus button, and that will add it to my timeline, okay? So there it is. It's on my timeline. And now, as I play it... Are you tired of the audio that the camera gives you when you're shooting a video? Everybody is. This is the... Oops, there's the mistake. So that's where we want to start our video, right there. So what I can do is, you see this little arrow right here? If I click that, it's going to give me definite, different selections of what I can do. If I leave it at select, I'm just choosing a, a location on the timeline. I'm not doing anything to it. I'm telling the computer, this is what I want to work on, and then I tell it what I want to do with it. With this razor blade uh, icon, I can bring this down to here, and now I have cut the clip in two. And you'll see, if we go back to select, this is now a separate clip. Okay? And this is a clip we don't want. It's a mess up, so we're going to get rid of it. All I have to do is highlight it by clicking on it, hit delete on my keyboard, and it's gone. Now, Are you tired of the audio that comes in it starts the where it's supposed to. It's Pause it. Now, you can stop and start your video using the space bar on your keyboard. Remember that. That's going to be incredibly helpful. So, so I've stopped it now. And I'm going to do that, uh, that same cutting of the clip into two pieces. This time, we're simply going to go to where we want to cut it. And I'm just arbitrarily choosing there. And on my uh, MacBook Pro, I'm going to hit Command-B. That splits it. And now I have two separate clips. What if I decided that I wanted this end clip to be the beginning of the clip? I can do it. Click on it, bring it to the front, and pull it down. And it, now it's been reordered, and it's in the front. We're going to put it back because it won't make any sense. One of the things you'll see is if I hold this clip away from the clip and let go, it's going to jump over to that line. And that is because of this feature right here. It's called the snapping tool, okay? And all it's going to do is when it, it's being intuitive. If you're getting close to a break point where you've made a break in a clip or it's the end of a clip, it's going to assume that's where you want to take it and it's going to snap to that position. You don't have to. You can turn snapping off and it won't do that. You're going to want it on almost all the time. Well, that's not much of a video. It's one clip. So we got another one that's hanging up here. And now we're going to do something different. I'm going to click on that clip. I'm going to turn the sound on it for just a second. Run Park in Henrico, Virginia. And we're going we're, to test... We're going to go the, back to the beginning of it. Okay. So. Okay. Now, there was a big pause in the beginning, wasn't there? So, what I want to do is go back to the beginning. And when it hits that, it gets to the end of that pause, I'm going to pause the video. Okay. Just before I start talking, I've paused it. Now, this isn't even in the timeline yet. So, we're doing all of this before we've even entered it into the timeline. We're going to edit it before we put it in the timeline. So we're going to get rid of that dead pause in the beginning, and this is how we're going to do it. 
We're simply going to get to the point, which we've already done, that we want the video to start at, and we're going to hit I on our keyboard, I. That stands for in, or the in point for the video. And then you would skip the video. And we're going to skip to the end of the video. I hope you can see the incredible versatility that provides. That's where we want it to stop. So now what do we do? On the keyboard, we're going to hit O for out. Now we've made an in point and an out point to that video. So when I go back to the thumbnail up here and hit the plus button, it's going to attach it to the last clip, the very end of it. No, it's not. It's going to attach it to where my cursor is. And now I've put it on the end. That's an important point. Wherever your cursor is, that's where things are going to snap to from our media section. Okay? So, okay, so we're outside at just for you for content creation on your phone. Let's get after it, shall we? Okay. Now with that palm going to the to the lens, that's where I wanted to stop that clip. So again, we're going to hit command B. It's going to split it at the cursor. And this little section I can now highlight and get rid of by hitting delete on my keyboard. And now that transition between clips looks like this. Content creation on your phone. Let's get after it, shall we? Okay. So we're outside. All right, so that's not too bad. A little abrupt, though, don't you think? It kind of jumps into the next scene too quickly. There's a couple of things we can do for that. One of them, at the very top, you'll see all of these, and one of them is called transitions. Transitions is how one clip goes to another. And all of these effects can be applied in between um, two clips. Find one that you like. Um, I think I like that one. So we're going to take this transition and we're going to bring it down to the break between the two clips, just like that. And now when we go back and we play it over just again. Just for you, for content creation on your phone. Let's get after it, shall we? Okay. That's so what it looks outside. like. I don't know if that's my favorite, but it's not the worst. If you didn't like it, here's what you do. You're going to go to this turned around arrow, and that's an undo button. You can also hit Control Z on a MacBook Pro. But we're going to hit reverse, and we just took that transition out. It's no longer going to do that. And what I want to do is find a better one. I kind of like that. Let's see if that works. Let's try it again, shall we? Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. So, uh, the other way that you can do I'm going to take that transition out one more time. So we're going to go back, undo button. A transition is an effect that moves you from one clip into the other. So it takes two clips to use a transition. Effects are different. When I go up here to effects, now I can apply them just to one clip. So let's find something interesting here. Not my favorite yet. Let's try this. So we're going to take this and we're going to apply it to the second clip, the one that it's going into. And now let's see how it looks. Wow, that was kind of cool. I don't need it to repeat, though. No. We're going to go back. 
Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think I needed to, to do that that many times. Um, Let's see here. Let's move on down, see if we see something else. I'm going to try this one. Let's see what this does. Oh, so that's a bit. I just learned something. You can apply the effect and make it shorter. So let's see what this does. That's not too bad. Should we do it again? Let's see. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah, it's interesting. For the purposes of this video, that'll work. So, now, another thing that you can do that's really cool, let's take a, a, a piece out. I'm just going to split it there and take this clip. Now, what if I decided I don't want it there? I want that clip at the end of the video. That's what I can do. Just throw it on. Doesn't look good, and it won't because it's the beginning of the clip. Bring it back down here. Kind of force feed it into it. It'll open up, drop it in, and we're back where we started. That's where we're going to stop today. That's all we're going to do today. What have we done? We've opened up CapCut. We've gotten media into CapCut and added it. We've gotten um, that media from the library down into the uh, timeline. We've been able to add other clips to it. We've been able to cut the clips and separate them, move them about, change them in different orders. We've been able to cut out a piece if we needed to. We learned a lot today. If you take the videos that you've taken, throw them into CapCut and get started with that, I think you're going to be pretty impressed with what you come up with. So give it a shot and leave comments. Once you get going on this, tell me what you want to learn next. This is the first part of this series on CapCut for retirees. So this is going to get your feet wet and get you started. Feel free, because the, the, here's something I want you to really remember. When you're in here playing with this, if you just want more, you just you haven't learned enough and you want to go even further, it's all good. Start playing around with this section up here, okay? And you, there are filters, there are adjustments, Templates, transitions, effects, stickers, text, audio. There's a lot going on. We're going to go over all of it in time. But right now, this is where we started. But if you go up here and you start playing around with stuff, and uh, if you put a sticker on the screen, what's that going to do? Oh, look at that. There's a big sticker on the screen. Okay. And then we can take it out and delete it. It's so easy. But the thing to remember is that button right there or control.